Yo, what's the crack, boys? Giannis, out of nowhere, after a whole off-season of foreshadowing him leaving the Bucks, he signs an extension out of nowhere. Also, the deadline was, you know, yet last night. You saw a lot of people, you know, getting dead, you know, contract extensions. Kawhi, I think, you know, kind of top head. Jaden McDaniels got a bag, bro. 127 mil. I'm so happy for him. Like, he's going to play such a crucial part in the Timberwolves playoff push next season. Like, genuinely, so deserved. He's arguably the best friend in the league. I, you know, his offensive game isn't the best, but, you know what I mean? You've got Anthony Edwards, Kat, obviously, Rudy Gobert. You kind of do need your offense there, but well-deserved bag from him. But Giannis got, like, a three-year, $180 million deal. That's, that's 60 mil a year, bro. That's a tremendous bag. It's good to see these players get paid, you know, especially Jenny McDonald's. Whew. Cole Anthony as well. Quick, quick touch on. Are they going to trade Jalen Suggs? You know, you give Cole Anthony the contract extension. Who are you going to choose? Like, give Jalen Suggs some time. But anyway, Giannis, like I said, after a whole offseason of saying, you know, the Bucks, you know, I'm, I'm, win I'm a winning player before a Milwaukee Buck player. If we're not on the same page, I will not sign an extension or I'll leave. Like, bro, the Bucks are so good under pressure. When Giannis is trying to leave or, you know, there's rumors, they trade for a star. 2021, trade for Drew Holiday. 2023, they trade for Damian Lillard. Giannis is my pick to win MVP next season. Just because how much space Dame's going to give him. Like, that's going to be a nightmare matchup, you know, for defensive teams. It's going to be insane. But this is just like a complete repeat of 21, of 2021. After that, especially after that Heat series, well, 2020 technically, after that Heat series, it's like, wow, Giannis is gone. Like, he's not going to sign an extension. Signs an extension, wins the championship after they trade for Drew Holiday. Now they trade for Dame. Like, it's literally a repeat. It's literally a repeat. We'll see, though. The Bucks are definitely, like, heavy, heavy favorites. I'm personally picking the Celtics over them. But you know what I'm saying? You got two, like, the two top stars outweigh the Celtics. Like, they're two, you know, Tatum and Brown. Obviously, you know, underneath that, though, the Celtics are just so much better. But this is huge. This is actually huge. This came out of nowhere. You you want to see these you know the best players in the world stay on their their drafted teams. Obviously, I'm I'm all here for you know players switching teams. It's a lot of excitement for the league. You know when KD when KD went to the Warriors, that was crazy. When KD went to the Nets, even crazier. When he went to the Suns, crazier. Kyrie moving, with LeBron going to like Jeremy. You know I mean? It's it's very fun to see these star players move to different teams. You know, like we just saw with Dame, like trades and you know free agency signs are really exciting about the league but there's, there's just something when you know a great player or you know the best player for the franchise stays a bit longer you know Jokic as well hopefully MB does it Steph obviously Steph Steph's doing it Tame hopefully see Tame do it it's just something about when a player just stays on their draft team especially when you know they're a top twice you know, also well in this case top two player also you know top 30 range you, you you like to see it. This is stuff you like to see. Obviously, Jalen Brown, he's going to be in there for a while. You just love to see players sticking to their teams because, you know, it seems like it's, you know, it's gone. Like, you know, players don't do that anymore. But like I said, I'm all, like, I, I am a fan of, you know, players, you know, moving teams, creates the hype, all this stuff. But it's cool to see, you know, Giannis do this, especially, you know, media days. Like, I'm not going to sign one yet. He's trolling. He's trolling. So obviously Dame is on a crazy contract as well. I think Giannis is, is now longer. This means for the foreseeable future, Dame and Giannis will be on the same team for about three or four years. Whew. I don't think like what Dame lose like 33. Giannis like Giannis has got like five more years minimum of his prime. Like J Dame said, he'll be playing you know 37 top level. I believe him. I I believe him. Injuries will only stop him. The shooting won't go away. I, you know he is. Very athletic for his size and his position. I genuinely think Dame Lewis got bare, mi absolutely bare minimum, three seasons left. Three seasons left of being arguably a top three, a top two point guard. Obviously, Luca will come in. You got, you know, you got Scoot Henderson's coming up. So many players, but you know, three seasons minimum of just him being an absolute menace. Potential score thirty points per game. The crazy three point percentages. The crazy freeze per game. This duo is going to run havoc. And if they can stay together, obviously, Brook Lopez, Chris Milton, I, I expect them to be, you know, in three seasons, not to be on the Bucks. Who knows? In two seasons, they could have, have the best roster in the NBA just from trading, signings, drafts, just different stuff. And, you know, to have a duo around Dame and Giannis. Will this duo win a championship? Whew. I'll say yeah. I will say yes. Just because Giannis is on the team, 
finals MVP, you know, you look at the finals MVPs, it's, it's generally like a top three player. I generally thought, you know, Embiid was going to get it last season. Obviously didn't. Obviously it was Jokic, which still proves the point. The best players get it every time. So I think, I, I would say they will, but obviously no one can predict the future in that scale of, you know, a whole league. But they're going to be successful either way. They're going to be high wins. Hopefully Adrian Griffin can, you know, kick off his, you know, head coaching career. And just get them wins. Hopefully, you know, can build some good chemistry with them. Maybe he'll be a really good coach next season. Who knows? This is great security for the Bucks. Your two best players on contracts for multiple years. This gives you time. Obviously, you do want to win the championship this season. You'll be disappointed if you don't. Anything's an improvement from last season, to be honest. But you still have time to construct a roster. Fail, like Giannis said, which, you know, he is right. He is right. You have time to, you know, you just have time to build a good roster. Like I said, you do want to build one ASAP. But if you don't win this this season, cool. You have next season, you know, free agency, free agency looks all right next season, a lot better than this year. Boom, okay, like, do you know what I mean? Giannis, Giannis like 28. Giannis is still in his prime. Giannis is still being in his prime until like 33, 34. You have time for now. Obviously, time does go quick. It feels like literally yesterday, Giannis signed that extension. But the Bucks are in a very good spot now. 